the lawyer of uh, of Amber Heard was trying to go around all these places and and try to make it uh and i think this is where they shot themselves in the foot with this whole trial uh, they try to make it about the battle of the sexes they, they, they try to make it a man versus woman thing and um i believe that this was such a bad move because we are starting i mean i think the whole world was hypnotized by all these movements like me too like uh black Lives matters etc etc and it was a good thing that those movements existed because they came from a, a i believe that in the beginning they came from a a good uh a good a good uh, how you, a good intent but whenever you come with something even if you come with it with a good intent it doesn't mean that somebody with a bad intent is not going to use your thing and this idea that you have to believe any person that says they are a victim believe all women uh believe all trans all gay all lgbt or all black, all etc. When they say I am a victim, it's the stupidest thing ever. It shows you how much all these people uh, they started to weaponize these movements, and not them, but a lot of people starting weaponizing those movements. A lot of people have lost their their job, their livelihood, their careers, or and 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 became pariahs of societies because of. The mistakes of people like uh, R.V. Weinstein or Kelly, all these people, they, yeah, listen, but it's not because one man or 10 men or a thousand men uh, act like bastards that all of a sudden all the men in the world are guilty without even being able to prove that they're innocent and without even trying to have any debate, any, let's make sure actually if you are right on something and you are saying that i did something and you have proof of it etc etc you should not have a problem that people have doubts you should be like you have doubt yeah, of course here's evidence here's how times this that this is my you see what i mean what are malcolm beats you but they all these people especially all the woke people in the US are they want to live in a world where when they believe something anybody who don't agree or have any doubt is is an enemy of the the whatever they, they want and this cannot work this cannot work uh even if you can you can be in all the media you can have be in all the editorial of the all the platforms at a point the law is the law uh and Common sense is common sense. You cannot arrive and just say that because you say something, it is true. And the worst part is that you you just have been uh, declared a liar to the face of millions of people because of evidence. And you still hear, you still have sending your law, law your lawyer going everywhere saying, yeah, you know. Uh, the jury made a bad job the judge made a bad job everybody made a bad job uh the well, we had a lot of evidence we didn't see your evidence yeah but now we had a lot but he didn't listen if he didn't get accepted it, it means that he was not it, it had it had no it would not change anything and you had nobody coming to your side not a single person came and, uh, and only the sister and and you there was proof that you lied you lied about the money you said um i don't want that money you took the money you didn't give it you didn't give it a whole year all these things and at that point you have been proven like they prove in the cross examination that you lied about your photos you 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 doctored the photos you lied about tmz you lied about uh, uh, 
giving the money to all these people and you even said to yourself it was a it was a trial about defamation and defamation you with malice comploted to to destroy the life of somebody just because you wanted revenge just because you're that type of person and you said it yourself i didn't write i didn't write this about him and then in the end when you lost your passions your temper your character you said yeah that's why i wrote about him so there you go it's over the jury was like yo listen yeah you can sh you can show you can look at us and be cute and etc but and the whole world is just tired of i mean the occidental world is tired of people weaponizing weaponizing victimhood and just using victimhood and the, the the fight of the real victims for their personal gain or the personal vendetta people are tired of the people like Jussie Smollett we didn't believe him from day two who we were like those this person that person and so it's just the world is changing because people are starting to just have a little bit of common sense and are just starting to be like yo listen uh, when you say something you better make sure that you are right and i think it's very insulting to the world and to the intelligence of people like us to pretend that uh because a liar have been proven guilty of lies is going to be a setback for all women no it's not going to change nothing for the rest of the women because the real victims are real victims but it is normal that when somebody says something there's at least a little bit of research doubt because you don't want to destroy somebody's uh, life just because you know that we're going to believe all women and there was really a point where there was a mass hysteria like four or five years ago six years ago listen you said anything that had to do with oh me too listen how when we are we gonna learn that when there's big movements of everybody saying something there's people that lie there's scammers everywhere look in the crypto industry look in the nft industry because this is what is hot right now the scammers are here everywhere you see them in the comments on youtube you see them on your whatsapp you see them everywhere on instagram trying to sell you something and what you're going to tell me that women don't lie what are you talking about how are you going to tell me a grown-ass man 48 years old that women don't lie with all the liars that i met in my life or they don't they don't get revenge they, they're not going to use like they're not crazy only men can do it, it makes no sense yes you have liars yes you have violent women yes you have crazy women yes you have and they can be black as well don't come to me and say that because a, a woman is black now she's only a victim oh we don't don't come with slogans slogans is, is yeah it's okay it's cool but then after that when it comes to real life you have to look into details if not it doesn't work so and and listen because women lie Yes, men too. There's men lie, black men lie. There's, there's there's black men that are criminal and deserve to go to jail, etc., etc. And because it is the world, it's people in general. Now, 99% of the women and the victims and the black people and the white people, etc., etc., don't lie. But you don't you have to take account that it's possible in the one percent that's hundreds of millions of the hundreds of millions of people in the world you have to take account that yeah some of those people will lie and some of those people will weaponize your movements and you yourself and your movements you have to also understand that you when you get power don't weaponize your movement either and listen you lost because you lied nobody believes you not because it's johnny depp it's a man we are fans we are not nah, because we are all smart enough to not believe somebody that shits in her husband's bed 
and we heard the audios. All of us, we heard the audios, we hear you. That's it, this is why you lost.